The way to effect change is sometimes to flaunt a law, to sometimes to go against what uh, the social norms are. Uh, in this case, we have a model in Saudi Arabia, who happens to also be Saudi Arabian, walking around not covered head to toe, as uh, law dictates, but in a miniskirt and a crop top. Two sides to this issue. Yeah, the debate is, is she being brave by starting this conversation, a conversation that, um, you know, there's no doubt that this is a conversation that needs to be had, or was this the wrong venue for this? So we've got four comments, three of uh, which are from women. Uh, Nadia first uh, saying, I don't think she's mocking. She is brave in standing up for women who are uh, suppressed in Saudi society today. Uh, saying, I, I guess saying that, uh, you know, this is a conversation that needs to be had. Kathy uh, tweets us saying, uh, in countries where where rules are strict and the value of women um, low that might not be the best way to do it, uh, there needs to be change. Mm -hmm. uh, Jim saying, uh, I don't agree that this law is a good thing, but put subtle pressure on them to change over time. Uh, this isn't the right way to go about it, though. There has been subtle change for years. There has been attempts at subtle change for years. There is no doubt that women in Saudi society are second, in some cases, third-class citizens. But that's me talking from Canada. That's me talking yeah. from where, where you know, we have a certain set of morals and values. They have a different set over there. However, does that make it right? So it, it's a very interesting debate. And uh, we, we actually value people in our society today who actually walked against what was normal in the 60s, uh, per se. And if affected change. And you can draw a lot of parallels, as you said, to what has happened here in Canada. It's just we're looking at it from a different lens. And, and as Lisa's saying, uh, you know, be brave. It's 2017. I will not be told what I can and can't do, uh, regardless of where I am. So uh, definitely conversation on both sides of things. So uh, let us know what you think. Tweet us uh, at BT Toronto.